the Abino Black folks, and basically it's Alpha Centauri more than likely. And uh, if not, it's one of our other close uh, supergiant stars. And uh, I'm going to have a lot more to come on uh, Alpha Centauri, so uh, you're ready to get your socks blown off because we're at the Alaska there, and like I said, now it's a supergiant. And a lot of people are going to sit there thinking it's hyperbolic star, uh, neutron star. It's not. Okay, neutron stars are very hard to find. They have to actually find those by, uh, they are brown dwarfs, white dwarfs, so forth. I could be wrong on saying the white dwarf thing. But no matter what, we're going to pump up here. And uh, you're going to like what I got going on here. So... I'm gonna. Sh I have to stay here, and, you know, like I always show you. That I pump us up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I should be able to point pretty good. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much more likely Centauri and uh, Alpha Centauri, and there's more than likely Alpha Centauri B. B. Okay. Uh oh. See, and now I know it is for sure because they didn't like that. So anyway, <laughs> I didn't do that. Hello, mirror. So anyway, we're at readout. Okay. So I'm showing you this right from Earth. So it's all legal beagle. Uh, and I'm gonna have some great stuff that I've gotten a hold of lately. So anyway, this isn't even any artist rendition or anything, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll blow back because I'm just—it'll save me time when clicking up because you see I'm still at a thousand. We'll get our line and come across. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna have to blow down to save some camera time. And there we are. So now I'm gonna be back up a thousand. I'm gonna probably have a hard time trying to find this. Maybe not. But it's better than it, than using the magnifier because then I don't have to. Uh, there we go. Okay, we're in at a thousand. So now I can't say what what they are, but this is Alpha Centauri. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. And then what's what's bleeding through is there might actually be a another couple stars up there by Alpha Centauri that they don't really might possibly know about or they didn't well I think they know that they're there and I'm gonna be able to prove that in the next week so pay attention to all my videos so blowing in here and now I can get the mag I'll go grab the magnifier too and come over and we'll magnify this up even more so remember this is at Alaska and like I say basically these are stars and then these are there is a known exoplanet Alpha Centauri BB, okay? There's a lot of power and money that are trying to keep it a secret, and uh, not really. It's on the internet. You can go look around for it. And uh, so we got way more than one star because, as you can see, blown in at a thousand, and you can see the different planetoid objects that are near these stars. And you're going to find out that there are a lot of. Well, uh, there's a lot of stuff in physics in space that's getting blown out of the water. And basically because some NASA photos and ESA photos are getting on the internet like crazy. And you're going to know and see in a few days to come. And no matter what, see I'm blowing it in to begin with, but just showing you what's down here on Earth. You can see this on Earth. Remember, it's straight along. It's straight along, so uh, no matter what. This is one of our supergiant stars, okay? It's not a hyperbolic. Uh, if it does rotate fast, if they do rotate fast, uh, it's just a matter of a day's going to go by faster, that's all. And there's planetoid objects, as you can see, and it's different because we may be getting a single a, a 3D image of it, and more than a 3D image of it, but then that means that there's it's just the idea that if it's hyperbolic and it'll be flashing, we'd just be getting a flash. This is a supergiant star. And along with these planetoid objects, 
that rotate around it. Okay, basically another solar system that's not that far away, and it's basically only five, four light years away. That means you could get there in four years. Okay, you can get there a lot faster than that. And I think maybe the uh, it's going to be interesting. It's not the space station, but I'm I'm beginning to believe that it's they're getting ready to if they haven't already. Because I got camera shots from up there, so yep. So it's going to be coming off. The lid's coming off, folks. You know, Black's going to tell you about it. Because I got people flying a blackmail me. Either I'm going to get my kids handed to me on a silver platter, or I'm going to blow this right out of the water. Okay? So let's get the magnifier. And here's an earlier picture, folks. And you can see up there, and I'll take and zoom up real fast to give you the the date and the time up there I and mean, you could see a little bit of the, of the action there and I'm going to prove to you too that basically we are actually seeing possibly a couple of galaxies bleeding through and yeah you're going to blow your mind on that and that's going to be some stuff I'm going to show you from over in Hawaii that we have been looking at galaxies that are actually bleeding through in the thin atmosphere our atmosphere is pretty damn bigger than what we th it's way bigger than what we think we keep on studying that but our atmosphere is a lot clearer than what it's been for a long time. I.e., MTB is not in the gasoline anymore, at least in the United States. Okay? Not in an abundancy anyway. It better not be. And I'll just use a magnifier real fast for the date and time. Go all the way up in the corner. And there you go. We're at readout. Okay? So, now I just, I'm going to minus down, keep the magnifier here. We will pump up on screen size I made a business deal today ladies and gentlemen I'm in a very good mood I traded some space data for some black gold just a little bit not much just a few barrels I'm going to get a new vehicle pretty soon, too. My friends have done me wrong. I have no friends. Okay, here we go. Right now we're going to blow in some more and get a good look at this here. I have some friends that are enemies from some people. I have to control it. Some contractors that have worked for NASA for a long time. Found out about my pissed offness. I'm not pissed off anymore. So, here we go. And we're blowed in pretty good on this stuff. And so you're seeing your stars that are out there. And you're basically seeing Alpha Centauri because basically we're blowing in on it. And you're seeing it bleed through to Earth. They call it B and B for a reason. Basically, it's Earth 2, E2, and E3, and also the second and third sun. And there's a quite a possibility that it shares solar system. That basically our solar system is way big. We, we already know that because of uh, because of the bow shock. Uh, NASA's admitted to it. They try to do it the soft way. That basically, hey, you know the the, the satellites that we've had. So I'm moving all over. Uh, around and basically what this will end up being more than likely will be the same bleed and it's not because what this is going to be is this is going to be the second star in Alpha Centauri over here to the right. I should run into it here in a second. Either that or I was all, all the way over to the right. Okay, because I just go in a straight line. We'll stay blown up in here. And there we go. There's our third star. And you're going to fi start finding out that our solar system is bigger than what they lead you to believe it to be. And if not, then... Well, solar system, when they talk solar system... Now, see, I should have got the second one if I keep cruising over. So now I'm going to have to go down in size. you got to remember, our solar system is the sun. Sol, S-O-L. That's the sun. And then... So I guess... Well, okay, there, there... So it bleeds out. So actually there's one, two, 
So there's there might be two smaller stars. I'll be able to find that though too. But it's pretty much this. This is uh. Now, I was pretty much blown in more than likely on. But at the time that it takes this to bleed down here too. Uh, there's a good chance, but basically you got to remember the ice and the snow and the in the ocean are basically being a mirror here. So they're being our natural telescope. So I'm going to keep going up, and then we'll. I think I'll be able to cruise along. We'll just go along at this size. There's our stars. And I'm over at the fringe again. So I just basically, once I start pumping up, I can't go laterally. So we'll come back out. Move the magnifier out of the way. To be able to point. But you can see that this is here. And these are stars. And they're bleeding through. One. Two. And as you can see, this one is more than likely Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri. And it's kind of hard to tell, but I really don't think. Let's go in here. I can guess I can go in and pump up. You're just going to have to play with your own video on your player. And if I can get back to find it, I just cruise too far away. Okay, so now you're going to have to, and then I'll go over and you match this, blown up, okay, with, and I'll be able to see too by playing the video when it comes out. We'll move up over here and blow this one up. And then when we play it back, we'll be able to stop and freeze and compare and I'm pretty damn sure that it's two different stars two different stars so if they want to call the solar system separately of each one of these stars but I have a good scientific fact just recently with some discoveries that I've been going through with some physicists and uh, it's, I've been showing you uh, plenty enough that basically the umbilical cord and everything like that. Uh, astrophysicists is, is just going through their secrets that they've been keeping. And laymen are figuring this stuff out. And they're sitting with the old nomenclature of one solar, I mean, of the solar system of just Sol, S-O-L, Sun. Uh, pretty much, it's more than likely... Uh, we're magnetically connected to also Centauri A and B, and Alpha Centauri. So I'll have more on that in the next couple videos. You can go ahead and research what I've been telling you. The planets are out there. This is from Alaska. This is the webcam up there. And I think I basically, uh, this is a previous sh shot. And then I'll go ahead and also get back to the website for readout. I was worried that we were getting faked out, but we're not. We got super giant stars bleeding through, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely bleeding through. Okay, I can even go up to magnify here. I think I might. I'm not. I can't see my record time right now. So, oh wow. So we even get a. I don't know if they just refreshed the shot, and they may have. And this is not harp, ladies and gentlemen. People are sitting around saying that they think that this might be harp. And as you can see, it's different because we were blown in before and this is actually these pixels are going to actually help me out so I'm going to know in a minute whether it was the magnifier of going in on this size picture here so I got to hurry up and take okay, a video time we're just gonna now remember I showed you before that the stars I'll be able to show and I'll make another video since there's a new picture here and we'll zoom in with the magnifier and get all the stars that are in front of the stars the huge super giant stars that are bleeding through from way out in space ladies and gentlemen and they're all in a line and they're bleeding through and they're not hyperbolic and they're not neutron stars and they're not spinning around fast they're not in supernovas and this is way far away from earth and ain't gonna bother us at all but we are gonna get drought okay so 
I'm going to get zoomed in on the next video, and we'll zoom in on all this with the magnifier.